Hey everybody, it's BC here. Welcome to Space Engineers. I'm sure a lot of you knew this was coming. I unfortunately didn't because uh, I didn't really look into the game too much. Uh, but I did start looking into it. It's been recommended by a lot of people. So I thought I'd check it out. And I have looked into it. I've seen what can be done with this and what can't be done with this. And that's an odd place to land, definitely. So let's get out. And yeah, so uh, I have been playing around a little bit, trying to figure out the mechanics a little bit more. I don't know if there's any way to actually fix this thing, is there? Like, I've spawned in a couple of times, I've never actually ended up on the side like this. But yeah, anyways, uh, this is uh, Space Engineers. I have played Medieval Engineers bef before, so Keen Software is nothing new to me. I did actually know about the game, I just never really experimented with it. And yeah, I thought I'd go and check it out. So yeah, it's going to be the same old usual grind in the beginning. Uh, I've been trying to figure certain things out about this. Uh, the ore detector I don't think actually works on this because it's not flying. And the crafting and all that stuff and so yeah now I gotta go uh, look around for some stuff. I, I could go and sort of compare this to different games and other games and all that stuff but I'm not like that. Games are each their own. Uh, they all have their own flair, their own class, their own mechanics. I definitely like this, and this actually reminds me of the magnesium. Silicon, magnesium. Let's see what we can find down here. Yeah, I don't know how, how close you have to be for these things to show up. I think it's supposed to be like 50 meters. Don't need the silicon. I need iron, if anything. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yes. Uh, but yeah, this one, I could see myself getting into this because I was really getting into Medieval Engineers. It was actually one of the first games I had on my channel. And I was having some fun with that, but that, that was just too grindy. Like, I mean, way too grindy. Like, you don't realize how grindy a game is until you're spending two hours a day hammering at stone just to be able to do something to entertain people. And I had huge fast plans for that one but that ended up becoming a time sink but uh yeah anyways uh i like uh different things about this like one of the things i do like is well i don't like how <laughs> your body always changes like if you look sideways and all that stuff you'll end up being sideways but there are planets up there there are asteroids up there that we can go and investigate and build on and oop, i'm gonna run out of jetpack here and usual stuff. Uh, at the same time, too, uh, I hear talk of programming and logic and scripts. And uh, if you've seen some of the stuff I've built, just imagine what I could do in this game. That's if I can figure it out. Um, yeah, another one I got to get used to too is the the two two block size building system. Like everything has two blocks, either be large block or small block, different resource. Stuff like that and the crafting mechanics. A little a little different than what I'm used to, but I like the assembler idea. You tell it what you want to build and it crafts everything for you. And I'm not finding any iron around here. I'm just not paying attention to it. But uh, let me gather up some resources and I'll bring it back when start getting some work done. Uh, if I find a drop pod too, if, like those beacons, I'll bring you back for that. So I shall see you shortly. And it just occurred to me it's going to be a while before we can actually refine anything anyways. Because uh, i got to build the refinery. But I do know that the survival kit here can process stone. So I'm going to go find that magnesium and silicon. Uh, where was it? Do -do 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 -do. Oh, I thought I saw something. I guess I didn't. It was over here somewhere. Uh, yeah. Um... Just so you know, I am playing offline too. Uh, I have been talking with a friend of mine. Oh, there's the magnesium. Uh, about getting up. He actually has a, uh, got himself a server, like a server computer. And talking about having a, like a server actually running for space engineers, for uh, just friends in the community and stuff like that. Uh, I'll have further details when I talk to him more. Where is it? Magnesium is right. Disappeared. There it is. That's going to take a little while to get down, so I'll bring you back when I'm down there. Oh, I can see it's going to be a while to get down there, but 
We're gonna need. A, I'm gonna do a lot of stone anyways, because I know you don't get much out of refining it, basically, and just cleaning off the dirt, getting whatever you can out of it. Uh, oh. Oh yeah. I don't know why it reminds me of it that it's low if I'm not even using it. All right. So let's get out of here. I'm probably gonna end up leaving this here. We'll probably mark it off, and that'll be the mine. Let me out of here. Thank you. Uh, I was messing around with some of the options too before I started this. I wanted to try the realistic settings like the the mining speed or the, the welding speed, grinding speed, drilling speed, inventories, realistic and all that stuff. And yeah, it uh, kind of grindy that way. I'm still crouching. Yes. All right. So we just oh, we do not do that. We drag the stone over there. We go over to production and we just. We'll actually just craft up a whole bunch of that. Because I'm just going to keep piling stone into it. And eventually we're going to have enough iron to get some stuff crafted. Probably should have filled up my jetpack, but... Whatever. Oh, i got to find this place. I might have to... Yes, I've named it BC's Mind because this is going to be a crazy world when I'm done with it. Where was I? Where was my hole? It was over here somewhere. I think... Anyway, uh, I'll come back. I'll bring you back when I got a, an apple supply of supplies. So, oh, I think it was this tree. So, I'll be back. You know, I don't like how this is sitting. And I think I know how to fix it. <laughs> it's cut off its feet. And if I take the other one out, gravity should take hold. In theory. Haha. -ha. That's how you do things my way. Plus, you get three parts out of it. And one more. It's gonna sit on the thruster, but I don't care. It's not like we can fly this thing, anyways. Eventually, I will be scrapping this entire thing down for parts. That's what we do, right? Anyway, uh, so back to the drilling. What did I get out of that? Uh, I didn't really get a whole lot. I'll stick the stone over there. Uh. Yeah, I'll stick that in the inventory for now. It doesn't have a whole lot, but it's enough. Uh, yeah, I thought I'd just fix that off on camera in case the inevitable happens, and you know it always will. What is, what is that up top? Uh, yeah, let's top up my fuel here quickly before I climb up there. And I wish the, uh, the crouch would, you know, automatically make you stand up. When you start walking or something. What is this? Oh, that's your detector. Okay. Never mind. Anyway, back to the mine. Alright, I'm still chugging along in my hole there and haven't hit the, the magnesium yet, but I just saw there's a drop pod. I thought we'd go check that out and I'll let this process one so I can at least get my inventory empty. And we're gonna go strip that thing down. Oh, jetpack fuel. <laughs> And there we go. Alright. That's not the jetpack button. I feel like I can fly, man. When I was in uh, the first time I loaded this up, the second time actually I went into creative, I wanted to go out into space there and I actually <laughs> tried to fly out there and it didn't it, it really go too well. It took a while. Alright. I gotta be careful with that jetpack too, because I know that it's gonna kill me pretty easy. All right, what do we got here? I know you get like all sorts of skins and unlock. I like some of these; they're completely different too. There's been a few of them that I actually tried to run when I tried to go up and try to interact with them. All right, what do we have in here? Come on. Ooh, upgraded tools. I'm getting lagged too, and I have no idea where that's coming from. Alright, I did adjust some of my settings down. Do I get anything good? A leopard suit. Alright. Combine in style. Alright, actually, I got a new grinder, didn't I? Uh, where is it? I did. Oh, that is so much faster. Medium 
coat container. Was there actually something in here? Ah, if there was, it's not anymore. But that's cool, I don't actually have to uh, uh, upgrade my tool to make new stuff. I just got some. That is nice. I wasn't letting it grind it there for a minute. Maybe I wasn't paying attention to where my uh, thing of bobbers were. Yeah. Crosshair. Yes, that's the word. Alright, well that is that, so uh, I'll bring you back when, like, after I get some more mining done. Alright, I'm just about at the McGee game right now. Uh, basically the survival kit is completely full right now. I've been processing everything I could. Uh, how do I get out of here? Like this this snaky ass tunnel. Uh, so what I'm going to do is we're going to head back there. I, got, I think I have like 1200 kilos of iron or something like that. So I'm going to start making a whole bunch of plates and maybe a few other things and then we'll check out this signal while we wait and my jetpack wasn't turning off and so we just do this and see production go here and we will make it's not what I want I want to go ahead and make a hundred and we'll go ahead and stick this in here Get the stone out of my inventory. Uh, how's the jetpack? Terrible, of course. So turn that off. Turn that off. And get that out of my hand. Let's go fly off to this one. And we'll see what we can get. I hope it's not one of those ones that play hard to get. You walk up to it, it'll lift off and fly somewhere else. And then wait for you. I actually got killed by one of them in space when I was playing on the tricorder. Yes, it's one of these ones. Uh, let's see here. And you're not going to take off, are you? Apparently not. And what do we got? Nothing. And that is it. I find your keepers. Maybe they'll find something they're hiding inside. Uh, same old, same old, so let me uh, why is this auto staying on? I have no idea. Anyway, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And uh, I just realized that I do have to unlock a bunch of stuff before I can actually build anything. Uh, but I do want to do is get into a some sort of storage container. So we got to build a basic assembler. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And it was already on my hotbar and I didn't even realize it. So we want six. I have no idea where we're going to place this. And... Uh, let's see what... Oh yeah, one was... Gravity alignment. One wasn't gravity alignment. We'll just whatever. Uh, let me check something here. Okay, I'm back. I want to see if there's actually a way to adjust how far away the block was from you, but I guess there isn't. So we're just gonna go ahead and place that down, down, and see what I need. I need a lot. Now we gotta have everything except for a few things. Almost functional too, so I need uh, construction components. And of course, I don't have any. Alright, well, let's see what it takes to make them. I'm going here, construction components. Good thing I still have a lot of iron left. Alright, uh, actually, how, did it say how many I needed? I need five. I'll go ahead and make a couple more of these. Let's see what I got. Three. Yeah, that was uh, my first experience with this, uh, the assemblers anyways. Uh, a friend of mine told me to go craft a, start making a reactor, and I didn't realize that it was one, a single click, and two, that I actually made the parts instead of actually making the, re making the actual reactor block. So I need three displays. I have one, 
Uh, can I even make a display on this thing? I should be able to. And I can. All right. 73 computers. Yay. Got seven, so I need 70. Uh, grind, grind, grind. This is... Reasons like this is why I usually mass do stuff. Because you never, never know when you're going to need them. Anyway, while that is being done, uh, I wanted to check. It was saying something about middle mouse button to recolor the block, too. But I think that might be while it's actually touching another block. I know that P is a color picker, right? And go on here we can go ahead and do like a nice bright blue and we gotta get the saturation up. Bring the value just the brightness of it. Alright, we do that. And I should be able to actually recolor stuff. Right? I thought so. Apparently not. Anyway, uh, that is going so I'll bring you back when uh, these are done. What am I missing? Oh, inventory's full. <laughs> Alright, well, let me take care of this and I'll be right back. Okay, I got everything all finished. You gotta finish building it, and there we go. And now, for the fun part, I gotta get power to this, and this is something I didn't realize when I first made one of these. Uh, so I'm wondering if I can just put the, solar, uh, the wind turbine right on top of there, and I keep hitting B for some reason. Probably because that was how the game I was playing before. No, I still play. I'm not having given up on it. No, no, no. No, it's already there. Ha ha ha. Alright, now what is that? No, that's not what I wanted. Uh, let's see. The only thing I don't like is how it free freely rotates like that. And I cannot place it on top, can I not? I'm sure I can. There you go. Alright. And of course I need lots of parts. Actually, I think... I might actually have enough. Possibly. Uh, construction components. Probably not. Uh, no. It's gonna... Gonna need a few more things, so... Uh, I'll bring you back when I get everything ready, and then we'll check out the assembler, and hopefully we have enough power for it, because... Uh, when I first built it, it was saying it was generating 1.05 watt kilowatts, and uh, the assembler uses one kilowatt, and it wasn't working. It wasn't until I got two of them up, even though I had two of them on there. One only ended up generating like 630, and the other one was like three, 300 or something. So it was like just barely meeting. So that was kind of odd. So let's see. I think that's enough. Yes. Oh yes, girders. Girders, girders, girders. And with that, I shall be right back. And that should be enough to get this thing going. Ooh, I like the color of that. Alright, uh. Let's see if I can actually change this. Like, do I have to have a block in my hand to change the color of it? Uh. Let's get a nice bright yellow if we can. That's not yellow. Right there. I guess I have to have a block, so you go here and oh yes, cool. No, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to get out of here. That's actually pretty cool. I like that. That one's actually dropping pretty close. Maybe we'll go check that one out. I do have to get rid of some stuff. I should probably build the storage. Uh, actually, I think I need to build the storage in here. Did I not? Let's see if we actually have enough power for this. Generating one kilowatt and the assembler uses one kilowatt in the watch. I won't be able to build anything with this. Uh, production, basic assembler. Oh yes, I have to unlock stuff. Let's do this. I always hit that. And like a friend of mine said, make sure not to hit J, especially when you're in space. Alright, production. I want storage. I want container. Where are you? Uh, conveyor sorters. Oh, they're already here. Why is it? Oh, I know why. Oh, because the basic assembler. He he he. That makes sense. 
Alright, well, let's uh, see if this thing has power. Do I have anything on me? Uh, oh, I got stuff on me. Let's actually see if I can build one of these. Oh. Always hitting the wrong block. Alright, so what's for I need for this? A lot of stuff. Probably stuff I don't even have. So, uh, let's go in here. I'll get, get everything together and I'll bring you back when I have that ready. Well, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to build that. I need cobalt to, to make something. I need uh, cobalt to make the, the metal grids. So, we're going to have to leave that for another time. Maybe I can get it with the magnesium or we'll find something else. I'm not too sure, but uh, let's actually go check this out. And then we'll probably call it here and then uh, probably get some stuff. Uh, farmed up for the next episode and we can try to get some building going on. I can tell it's going to be expensive builds in this one. More expensive than usual, at least. Alright, let's see what we have here. Light would help. No, Gimme. Not much. I'll probably get more scrap in you than that. And blinking light. Come on. Where's the button? Well, if I could just push this thing around, it probably weighs like 300, ton 300 tons or something. I could just push it around. There you are. There's the button. Come on. Do I get anything? No. I do have a pod to take apart, though. Whoops. Jetpack's a little on the touchy side. Now, was there two containers? No, there wasn't. That's not it. Oh, there is too. Uh, oh, yeah, it's the parachute chute. We actually got a lot of parts for that, too. Surprising. But I don't think I'm going to actually get anything I will actually need out of this. I don't think there's actually any grids in here. That would really come in handy, but. It would almost be something I should try to do. Uh, every drone I take apart or distress. Whatever these things are called. Every time I find one, I should take it apart, put all parts in a box, and use that to build something just with the scrap that I find. Make junk as source. Uh, and uh, yes, I know I have someone has already done the walking T Rex, but you never know. You never know what kind of crazy ass stuff I come up with. Right, let's fly back. Hopefully, we don't run out of juice before I get there. See that big bright yellow windmill flying in the Beautiful background. Critical. Not windmill, uh, wind turbine. Yes, that's the word. Alright, what did I actually get from all of that? A little bit of stuff. I actually needed some of those, but it's that, that mesh. And I actually, honestly don't know if this is even going to work yet, if it has enough power, so let's grab some iron. Uh, it is generating power. I have no idea how much it is. That's not what I want to do. Hit the terminal and start it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wind turbine. Still generating one kilowatt. Alright, inventory. We'll go ahead and put that in there. Oh, that's the wrong slot. Let's stick that up in there. Production. Um, not enough power. That's what I thought. Even though it says it's generating one kilowatt and it can go up to 240 or something like that. Where was it? Uh, yeah. Max 210 output, but wind clearance is poor. Well, yeah, I guess there is a mountain in the way. Uh, sadly, there's no actual, like, wires or cables where you'd actually be able to run it from the top of the mountain and bring it down here. You'd have to have the grid entirely connected all the way. Which, of course, you know I'd probably do anyways, but... But I think with that, we're going to call this one here. It's dark. i got to get some organization set up and obviously a lot of farming if I'm going to build anything cool in this game. But anyways, I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like and I'll see you in the next one. Later.